hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project airlines reservation system and i have developed this project in spring boot angular and masco so on the spring boot site i have used the uh, jdk 1.8 tomcat version 9 and uh, i am using port 8080 uh, for running the apis all of the microservices right so for developing this uh, Spring Boot APIs and microservices, I have used STS Spring Boot tool suits, right? So these are on the Spring Boot side for uh, front end for Angular panel for Angular development. We have used Angular and the Angular version I have used uh, version Angular version I have used twelve and expect it accept it. Uh, we have used HTML CSS also also some of the Angular library right in our project for id i'm using uh visual studio code for uh writing all of the angular application and for the port i'm using the port 4200 for that for mysql side the mysql version 5.6 we are using right and all of the mysql connections we are doing from the spring boot site right so the communication between the angular application front-end application and the back-end application we are doing through the microservices which we have developed in uh, spring boot right so if you want to see the folder structure explanation what are the folder structure how we have arranged the file then there is a separate video available on our website called uh, spring boot folder structure explanation you can watch that that what is the folder structure we have followed right so let's start with the functionality go through that part we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so the project title is airlines reservation system and this is a mini project developed in spring boot angular and mysql mini project because it has only an only customer panel there is no admin panel available in it but if you want to measure project then there is also measure project available on our website you can go through our youtube channel or the website you will get the video there right okay so this is the home page right once you run this project on port 4200 you will get this home page so this is the home page this is a search menu bar and these are all of the flights which are coming from the database right some of the routes right we have choose only four top four routes and these are these are the about the airlines reservation system this is about project this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right this is a search flight and uh, it's about the searching the flights right you can search the flight and you can book the flights from here right i will show you so once you click on the daily and uh, there are total passengers and the date and search you will be able to see all of the flight which we have added here at all of the flight which build which uh, operates on that route right so this is a route delhi to gaya right this is a route so a single flight can operate with on multiple routes so there is a provision in the database you can add multiple routes for a single flight this is a customer login from here you can uh, log in and uh, after that you can book the tickets this is a registration if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here and uh, there is a restriction at this project right you can't book the flight without login this is a contact us page this is a static contact us page and there is nothing dynamic on it we are not saving the value of this page anywhere into the database even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is a feedback right and this is also a static right i think it's not operational because this is a mini project we have removed that right now i am going to log in as a customer so the user id is amit that is at gmail.com and password is test so once you click on submit you will get this dashboard right so here you can see home dashboard about all of the things right so my bookings from here you will be able to see all of the bookings which you have made right if you want to see any booking detail just click on the arrow button you will be able to see the details of all bookings right all of the fare booking date all of the passenger details age gender each and everything you will get here right and this one is a my account from here you can update your account details all of the account details is coming here now i am going to book a flight so here delhi and i'm going to book for the gaziabad right let me check the pass uh, available here or not search oh it's saying that 
no flight from down this route okay i am going for there search yes two flights are available so once you click on once you hover your mouse there you, it will show you the details right once you click on the details okay this flight operates from delhi to where right here once you click on the book ticket so there is a restrictions right you can't book the tickets without choosing the ticket type the seat type right so economy fare is fees and business fare is this one once you choose it suppose i am choosing the business class i will be charged 300 rupees right and i am entering the passenger details here pass one right age is equal to 23 this one male add passenger so this is a pass two is 34 gender female add passenger right i have added two passenger here and the business class ticket i have choose so total amount we need to pay is 600 rupees once you click on the book tickets you can see 600 is coming here enter your card details any things you can enter i am not validating any of the things right you can write down whatever you need because this is a dummy page so entering the name of and then visa month year month and make payment once you click on the make payment right your ticket will be booked and you will be able to see the details of the booking so this is the booking details booking id is 381 right passenger one passenger to each and everything is here right once you click on the print then this whole page will be printed out right now i'm going to see in the my bookings so 381 is the booking details once you click on that then it's showing that so all of the communication between the angular and the spring boot is happening through the microservices api and how we have developed it you can see it in the full structure explanation right what we have developed and what we have uploaded on our youtube channel right so the last thing is the logout once you click on the logout then this is a session driven menu it will not be displayed right so log out you can see nothing is displaying here if i log in then you can see my administration is displaying here right so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project airlines reservation system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in spring angular and MySQL. mini project because it has only and only customer operation so if you need any functionality any new feature list inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much